Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, today I wanted to review Panda Internet Security Cloud, but this is the pro version. Uh, I met somebody nice enough to give me a key, and uh, they asked me if I could test it out. So, so I can show you that this is really is the pro version. You can see that behavioral analysis and behavior blocking are both turned on. You can see everything else is left uh, just like it comes when you install it. There's a really like, you know, like every other time, there's no settings here. So let's get testing. Um, I got, I think, like, I don't know, 10, 13 so links. Uh, fairly new. So we can see what it can do here. I hope I can see that behavior blocker coming into effect. Okay, I don't see anything happening yet. Guess we'll keep going. Internet Explorer grabbed that one. Well, I'll just keep going through them here. Hard drive is crunching away real. Ah, you can see a couple things we have open right here. I know these two are malware in the background. Seen those before. Oh, looks like it took care of two things. Let's see what those were. Okay, so it looks like it took care of those two. That was one of them, I know that. I think I got this one in there twice, but um, they're actually different. Let's open up Process Explorer here, haven't used it in a while. Okay, that one, let's continue here. That one's dead. That one's dead. This is a JavaScript exploit, and I do have Java installed on this virtual PC. I don't think that worked. It looks like it's trying stuff though. Okay, that one's kind of large, so we'll wait for that.
Oh, looks like I got that one. Okay, these two are taking a lot of processor time, so I'm going to kill them. Looks like Internet Explorer just crashed. Now I do have a uh, Flash Player installed, but it might be trying to install a uh, older version or something that's been hijacked. I don't know. We'll just keep going here. I will tell you one thing, it is much nicer making a video and not having to uh, worry about it going over the time. Okay, and that was the last one. Okay, so... Let's do... Oh, looks like I got that. Let's do a scan and we'll do a full scan and then I will be back when the full scan is done um, then we're gonna restart because I always like to restart after doing a scan with whatever I'm testing and then we'll run CCleaner and after that we'll run Malwarebytes so I will be back whenever this is done let's see if anything else is taking up the CPU this is going kinda slow Do you get anything else out of the ordinary here? Nothing that pops out. Okay, so we'll just wait for this to get done. See you whenever it's done. Okay, guys, so the scan finished. Um, I couldn't finish the full scan because it got stuck on a file, but uh, I did do an optimized scan, and it says everything is clean. So let's get out the old, uh, I did have to restart too for some odd reason. It, everything completely locked up. So I'm gonna run CCleaner. And then after that, I'm gonna restart again. And then we're gonna run Malwarebytes. So let's get this done here. Okay, so now I'm going to restart, and I will be back when it's done restarting. Okay, so it's restarted here. Let's run Malwarebytes and see what we can find here. The computer still seems very, very sluggish. That's why. Alright, so I'm going to do a um, quick scan here, and I will be back when this is done. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes finished scanning here. Found nine things. Let's see what we got here. We got a uh, Zbot, Trojan Dropper, a couple Windows tasks. 
which are right there. A couple of job files, fake alert. So we got some stuff here. Let's remove all this stuff and um, I don't see anything running in memory so I'm not gonna restart. Now let's do a scan with uh, Hitman Pro. See if that finds anything. Oh, we got a root kit on it. While that's scanning, let's double check it. Yeah, yeah, we got some tracking cookies, which for some odd reason should have gone away because I, uh, there you go. Um, because I cleaned out, I ran C Cleaner, but for some odd reason these haven't gone away. We got two root kits actually. Uh, one of them's probably not active. Mm, there you go. So we got two root kits, TDSS and whatever this one is, uh, Trojan Agent. Um, and uh, you can see that, and a piece of malware, of course, um, system is actually infected. Pretty good, too. Let's see if that rootkit is uh, redirecting, seeing as now I have time to actually test out some things. Let's try see if we get any weird redirects. I did get a couple of uh, pop-ups. I uh, don't know if you guys saw them or not, but I did get some of those. Uh, it was opening up some weird side. I don't know what it was. For some odd reason, no. Yeah. Let me try restarting, um, see if the stuff that Malwarebytes got off will be enough so I can get into Internet Explorer because it seems like it didn't let me it just uh, closed out Internet Explorer so I'll be right oh there we go blue screen of death alright be right back okay so uh, restarted here I was actually kinda forgot about this uh, I was doing something else so let's see if we get any uh, redirects it seems to be working a little bit better now since Malwarebytes did its thing free AV virus. Let's try out AVG. Okay, that one works. Let's try out Avast. That one works. Avira. PC Tools. Seems like um, Malwarebytes did a really good job of cleaning all that stuff out to the point of uh, actually not getting more redirects. Let's just check it one more time with Hitman Pro here. So we do still have that rootkit installed also, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Who knows, maybe it knows it's on a virtual machine because they can tell that and it's not being active. Eh, hard to say what it's doing right now. It's still there though. See it right there. It's that TDSS thing. Hate that stuff. Hate rootkits, period. Just a pain in my, you know what. Alright, so um, I guess I'll let this finish scanning so we can see if anything else uh, pops up. Looks like that other one's gone. 
but we still have these two. So final verdict on Panda here. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's it's fair. It's not even okay. Um, personally, I wouldn't pay money for something for this, and definitely don't rely on it for your uh, main security at this point in time. It uh, it just let a lot of stuff through and a lot of nasty stuff through. And the weird part is that it's got this you know behavior blocker deal. And it didn't behavior analysis and behavior blocking. It never popped up once. Um, so I don't know what it's doing there, because it didn't seem to do anything. Uh, maybe in the next couple of versions or something they'll get that fixed and it'll do better. But at this point in time, uh, I don't see the point of running panda if your main security suite is not good enough to handle those find something that is um, instead of just piling on more applications because all you're doing then is just slowing down your computer you know you have a antivirus and then you want to get panda and then you get a firewall and then you get a behavior blocker and then you just keeps adding on and on and on for sometimes for nothing because it doesn't help you um, it does have very low memory usage, but that's about it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it for this review. Um, take care, have a good night, and uh, I'll talk to everybody later.